video. I just got back with my Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to be making something special for you that's south of the border. Ooh, a little spice in my life. Well, hello. This is Grandma Dolly, and I'd like you to come join my party. Come on, y'all. Well, I learned this recipe from my cousin Jan. She loves the Dollar Tree more than me. Can you believe it? It's true. You start with a greased pan. I, and you need some enchilada sauce. I got myself, they didn't have enchilada sauce this time. I got this tomato sauce Spanish style. So I'm going to put half a can of that in my greased pan. I'm going to use the other half later and spread it out. There it is. On top of that, I'm going to use some chili from the Dollar Tree South Gate Chili. I'm going to dump that right in there. There's beef and beans in this. Next comes beans from the Dollar Tree. I got the black beans. That's my favorite color. You just put those on top. The next stage involves this New Orleans jambalaya rice. I'm cooking it on the stove right now, right over here. It takes about 25 minutes. I love New Orleans. I went to the Mardi Gras once and got lots of beads. I was real popular. Rice is all done, ready for some spreading. Pour and spread right in the pan. Ooh, look at that yummy rice. Fresh from Louisiana. Spread it out. Now you know how earlier I said I used a half a can of sauce? Well, I have the other half here. I'm going to grab it right now. There it is. I'm going to pour it on there. And I'm going to spread it around. One thing that is so amazing about the Dollar Tree is their selection of cheese. I found this processed cheese called Mexican Blend Shreds. And what's amazing is where it comes from. It comes from a place called Sunny Acres. Those must be some very happy cows. Processed cows. Well, I'm going to take this cheese and I'm just going to use half of it. I'm going to sprinkle the cheese on the top of that rice. You are not going to believe what I found next to the Dollar Tree. I found these extra large burritos. Look how big those are. I just can't believe it. Well, you're not going to believe what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take these burritos. I'm going to grab my scissors. And I'm going to chop little bits of the burrito on top. I'm going to do this with both burritos. I'm going to use the rest of that enchilada sauce now right on top. And the final thing is the rest of that cheese sprinkled on top. I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. I can't wait to try this South of the Border experience. Well, doesn't this look elegant? My bake is all complete. Right here I have some sour cream that my grandson made. I can't wait to taste this bake. Mmm. Mmm. I taste lots of wonderful flavors. It's very meaty. Beanie, cheesy, and creamy. What do you think about that, Donna? Grandma Dolly, that looks good. Thanks for joining me at my party. If you like these videos, click like or subscribe. Thanks for coming, y'all. Bye. It's time for Grandma Dolly. She sure likes to party. Party. Oh, we love that dolly. She sure loves to party. Let's party.